the Chopsticks 2.2 frame. Now, this is not currently the 2.2, it's actually a 2.1. And, as you can see, it is broken. Right there. Um, and this is, I want to stress this, but it took 50 plus flights, uh, 53 I think, to get this to break and the breakage point is actually replaceable, which is this part. Um, however, I took the liberty of just beefing this up a tiny bit more to cope with that one part. A key feature of why I this frame is pretty much one of the best frames I have right now is the fact that it uses TPU arm ends. These things, these are TPU and it actually doesn't, this whole quad right now is not glued together whatsoever. And I've flown this again, 50 plus flights and it has not broken in a way that it's unrepairable. All of the carbon fiber rods are actually still intact. Nothing is broken. Everything's still pretty solid. That middle part's the only thing that broke. These arm ends can still be used, and that's why I really like this frame. The second, um, since these are TPU, it's actually somewhat of a motor dampening and it may not be significant but I can feel it in the air when I actually fly it. Um, third thing to point out, this middle part actually has some flex in it and I, I made that a feature because the early versions of this was actually a full rigid part and it was just it broke constantly it was super rigid and i thought it was gonna do well but it didn't when i dumped it down a bit removing some of the unnecessary parts and also making it a bit lighter it was a bit more flexible but it could take the hit um, one last thing is the reason why i made this in the first place or actually the reason why I made this in the first place is because I wanted something that is super cheap. I think the carbon fiber rods cost me like five dollars in US dollar, and that's like these long. Like this is a 400 millimeter long carbon fiber rod. Uh, three. Uh, millimeters in diameter and that's just five dollars like, seriously that's pretty cheap and this wasn't that hard to make wait not this one but this wasn't that hard to make in fact after this I'm going to move this to the 2.2 version which is almost exactly the same except the center part is more beefed up and the middle the, the arm ends are actually slightly thinner and a bit more um, I basically cut off some of the unnecessary um, weight I guess and I'm gonna point out that there's actually gonna be three versions of this this is the tiny hawk freestyle centerpiece mount so this is one version this thing is actually the standard whoop board layout, the 26 by 26. Uh, this is the nameless RC board right here. And this is a 3 inch. Exactly same motor, but 3 inch. This version will have a 2.5 and a 3 inch um, arm length cutting guide tool. Um, mainly because this can handle 3 inch. I'm not sure if it can handle 3S, 3S power since you know 3S a bit more weight, a bit more punch, but when you hit the ground hard, it's a lot harder than 
hitting the ground with a 2.5 inch on a 2S. So this may fare 50 flights, but this may do a bit less. But again, I've this this thing is nice. I think I've bashed this around several times and so far no problems. I've always just um, turtle mode out of all situations. I don't think this thing has any problems right now. But enough about that. One last thing to point out about this is it has its own canopy. Um, I'm not getting any jello from it, which is great. And it's only made for these. 199C camera from the King Kong Tiny series. It's pretty old, but Kebab even mentioned it one time in his video that it's uh, fairly decent for a camera at this size and weight. Um, that's that's pretty much it. You will also have to use rubber bands. Um, it's just better, like save it, save the weight, you know. Hope to see you in the f rebuild of this, which will be posted, I guess, almost after this video gets posted. So stay tuned, like, subscribe if you like um, what I'm making and if you want to see updates. See you next time. Bye!